here in camp in Chapter 4, Shady Bell. And hey, Arthur. Come on. I need the uh, Hosea mission. Party. We sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. So this is going to unlock the worst quest for 100% duchesses and other exotics. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Arthur looks like Jesus. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Bronte is a very good friend. There's a few things you got to do here. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the man behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Bronte, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you joined the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Slow moving. For the prima volta this month, without a doubt. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, <laughs> a, a confederate major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is flies. stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... They're that dastardly. Is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. 
They hate me. Arthur doesn't <laughs> like it. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. This is again slow moving. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal. You gotta compliment somebody on their outfit. Evening, ladies. How do you do? Evening, all. Is you have room, sir? How's it going? As well as can be expected. Evening, all. How do you do? Well, hello there. I am sure you're not me of the fellow. Oh, Outrageous. These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> madam, I hope you're having a fine evening. evening. Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> and you, this is a Would you like tickets? What? I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, cool off? Hello? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Le Mieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you've got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Hey there. How do you do? How's things? Things are mighty fine indeed. How do you do? Good to see you. It's a good chance to, like, get some honor. Hello, sir. I'm only joking with you. Why are you being like that? Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hello there. Bonjour, monsieur. Good day, sir. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. your mind. Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. She's about to get the hand. Back out, or you gotta sleep. Mr. Levine. 
Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Well, yeah, if that were true, you want to write it down on a piece of paper. I'm not sure how to compliment somebody on on their outfit. How do you do? Hi there. Hello there. Good evening, sir. Bonjour. Find anything? Fifteen minute mission. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here. So yeah, this is the gilded cage. I I grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, anybody see you take this? I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. Yeah, what to he go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Silver mission. And then, you know, you do have this this letter from I guess it's My Mary dear Linton. Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. Still haven't got his second camp request. And so, yeah, this is a great place to free roam. Good morning. Mary Beth will sit there forever. Let's see what else we got on the map. Yeah, Trelawney's here. American Fathers, like, that's, that's Eagle Flies. So, yeah. 
But the most important thing is that I think I can get the quest, which is the worst ever. Duchesses and exotics. 